Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ghost Robo, and I will be your guide through this game. Think of me as your waiter, bringing you the game for you to consume in delicious fashion. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go st This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. We're staring. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Sleep time already? We just got started. One of the best parts of this walkthrough, guys, is that I'm going to bring you three episodes on launch day, so three thumbs up for that. Now i got to go to bed. Yep, this is pretty much what I see when I sleep. A nice, pretty, plain white load screen. Very realistic. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. At any time? Assumed to have exercised his or her right Hello? To Can, no. Relaxation for the Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Regarding this policy, or oh, just open the door! That's too much. Message. Hello, friend! Why not open the door? This guy's a psycho! Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo! Ah! Oh, God. You look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. A psycho ball. What's his deal? Looks like a rotten hotel room we're in here. What is going on? Earthquake City. All right, down there. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you, Wheatley. You British beast. Most hey, test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes, it does. You're crazy, but I like you. I like British characters. I don't know why. Something soothing about their voice. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> Humor reactor is kicking in already. Are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. I, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, 
everyone looked pretty much alive. All right, not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that. You got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That guy is pretty funny. He seems like a very... All right. Off you go. Very, very good wingman to have on our side. I like him a lot. That's I'm the spirit. Genuinely smiling ear to ear right now as we, uh... Get kicking in Portal 2. Let's descend and find that Portal gun. Whoa! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right, we're here in room zero. Let's go do some science. Want to get a quick peek at our character? Here we are. We can go back in here and see. There's Chell, looking spiffy as always. What's with all this grass? I don't remember this from Portal 1 at all. I just actually replayed through it and there was no plant life so something has clearly gone wrong. This is like hundreds of years after Portal 1. We've been in sleep stasis forever. Looks really pretty though. Like Valve has done wonders with the Source engine. Look at this stuff. It looks good. We're in this like industrial jungle. Hmm. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You guys remember how those cubes work, right? You pick them up, they're your friends, and then you have to dump them in fire pits at the end. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. <laughs> the whole science facility has gotten quite the visual upgrade in the last couple hundred years, but that makes sense, right? In a hundred years, everything would look better. All the particle fields would look better. I don't know where all this plant life came from, though. We'll have to figure that out as we go. Uh-oh. Elevator. What awaits us beneath the surface? A load screen? <laughs> Aperture Laboratories. The place where all the magic happens. It's like Disney World for science. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. Challenge 1 of 19. You know what happened last time we saw 19 challenges, right? That was just like the halfway point of the game, and then you had to go through the enter into the facility and take down GLaDOS, so who knows what's going to happen after number 19 this time. Some buttons. Let's go hit those buttons. One portal. Let me hit this one. Okay, it makes the portal come there, but I need a... Oh, I got it, so the portal's there. All right, so we could use this one. That way we can bring this cube. Gotta turn my brain on here. It's launch night, launch morning, whatever you want to call it. So it's pretty darn early, like 12.30. We gotta get our genius juices flowing, guys. Turn those on here. There's one cube. And now, 
can probably put it on this button over here. Let's test it out. Chell, how good are you at dropping cubes? Oh, she is a three-star general. Wonderful. My kind of girl. All right. Now we got to hit the exit. Boom. Sound effects so far are really cool. I'm a big sound effects guy. I like footsteps. Every little detail matters. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. So I guess it's not just the facility. Like, apparently the world has gone to shit. Everything is destroyed and broken. Apocalyptic nature. The elevators have gotten quite the uh, shrinkage since the last time. <laughs> You'd think they would have gotten bigger since people seem to be getting bigger as the years pass, but that is okay. You guys with me on this game? Are you with me? Good. Glad to hear it. I will see all of you in episode two. Thank you very much for watching. Three episodes coming today. You're going to like it. I promise. See y'all later.